Okay, so in this in this uh, how-to video, I'm going to show you how to transfer games, save games on the PS3. My method uses a PSP, so you get PSP, and uh, PSP memory card, and you need you need this also. This is a memory stick duo adapter. I also have one of those. See that? Yeah, one other thing, real quick. That's all right. Just hold on a second. Okay. Now, first thing is, um, before you do this, you should know, okay, that once you install a saved game on your PS3 and you overwrite your existing save game, you will get you will get um, all your everything that the save game says you'll get, but you will not be able to get any more trophies, any more achievements. So you can take the good with the bad, um, because you're downloading someone else's save file, so you can't, um, you're not going to be able to get any more uh, trophies or achievements. So keep that in mind before you attempt this. Okay, that enough, that enough said. Now we're going to open up. This is uh, GameFacts.com, and uh, basically what? Uh, sorry, we'll go back here. Back to GameFacts. Okay, this is GameFacts.com. Basically, what you have here is um, a list of your, uh, PlayStation 3. All your formats are up here. Uh, DS. Uh, your uh, GBA, uh, GameCube, uh, Xbox, Xbox, all systems. But well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on the PS3. Okay, so do that, and click on the PS3, and now we're in the PS3 format, and what we're going to do is go to L. For, and we're going to look for Little Big Planet. Now, in this case, I've already done this, but you can go ahead and uh, anytime you see a save file, that's a save file. You go ahead and click on Save, and what you've got here is a list of different game files you can save. Uh, in this case, is four for North America and two for Europe. But we're going to go ahead and uh, what I've already done, you can go ahead and click on uh, any save game file. And what's going to come up is file download. And what I'm going to do is, I've already done it, but you can go ahead and hit save. And it will save it to your desktop. But uh, I've already done that. In this case, it, this is a stack of books, WinRAR. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and extract files. And it says destination path will be created if it does not exist. And so you're just going to go ahead and click on the OK button. And voila. And what happens is that you get a, a folder created called Little Big Planet folder. And you just go ahead and you uh, click on that. And basically, what you see here is. Uh, where all your save data is right in here. So you've got five files, and we need to fix this because uh, the PS3 needs to be able to read it a certain way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, and while we're in this uh, subfolder, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder, okay? And we're going to name that. Uh, PS3. This way, what this does is it allows the PS3 to be able to find, oops, to be able to find it better, PS3. So we made a folder we call it PS3. Now, um, we need to click on the PS3 folder, and now we need to create one more folder inside of here. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to name this one 
My name is Save Data. Save Data. The reason is you need to have these two folders so that uh, the PS3 is able to read it properly. And now as you see, folder is empty, so we click on Save Data. Now, the easiest way to do this, I found, is to minimize minimize that once you get this to the save data. Reopen that, uh, your little big planet folder. Reopen the save data. And you can click and drag uh, your folder, your data over to the save data, and it's been there. And you close that up, and you close that one up. And when you reopen this, what you have is just the PS3. We have the PS3 folder, you have the save data, and then you have your data, which is all your save, uh, your save data. Um, the easiest way to do this is once you're in uh, your subfolder, the little big planet folder, and you see the PS3 folder there. Click and drag that right to your desktop. And now the PS3 folder is on the desktop. Let me go ahead and close that out. And uh, now what we're going to do is now you're going to take your PSP, turn my PSP on. Hold on a second. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, so what I've done is I went ahead and I've hooked up my PSP to my computer and I'm now in USB mode. So go back to the desktop and we open up the uh, PSP. We open up the PSP here on the desktop. And you <coughs> you basically have your main your main uh your your main your your main page here, your main as soon as you open up you see video, your music, your MP your picture, your PSP folder. What basically we're going to do is just take the PS3 folder and we're going to click and we're going to drag it right into the PSP drive. So it's already in there. PS3 is in there now. And uh, we'll just uh, check it real quick and make sure that everything is the way it should be. And this is right. You don't want to mess around with this you see like a two, four, six, like a long noise it starts with a BCU or a BCLU or whatever, and you just want to leave that alone. You want to touch it or mess around with it or anything. So it's right. Everything is right with that. So now we can go ahead and close that out. And uh, now we're going to disconnect our PS3 in the computer and we're going to go back okay now what we're going to do is put this on pause one more time okay so I've taken the memory card out of the PSP and I'm going to put the memory card into the adapter. Basically all that is, just slipping that in there. And we need this because uh, this is going to go into the PS3. We're going to go to PS3. Now mine, if you have, you can only do this if you have the one that has the door that flips up. It's kind of dark in here to see. But you basically are going to put that in the Pro. And that's already in there. Okay. Now, look at here, and we go. You go to your. So you're gonna go to our save data utility, and now you're gonna see memory stick, and boom, there it is. Now, if you did everything right, if you did everything right, you should see it should not say corrupted here. It should it says little big planet. Profi profile data, and how we copy this to the PS3 is we're going to hit the triangle, 
and then I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but all you do is you hit X on copy, and it will copy it right to your PS3. And it's as simple as that. But basically, uh, you, can, you can, like I said, you can do this with the PSP if you have the, uh, the PS3 that has the, uh, the four USB ports in the front, and it has a flip-up door in the front that has the uh, card readers. So otherwise, you can't use PSP. So that's about it. Hope this has been helpful.